artists are increasingly venting their frustrations with the machine that is the music industry and their record labels online. You know, 50 years ago, we would never have heard about the types of contracts that they're locked into, the obligations that they have, and just how many hats they have to wear. And the challenge that record labels are facing is now artists do have a voice, they can have their say, and they can reach out to their fans directly and they can just say, this is how I'm feeling, I can't do this, I just want to give you the music. So it's a real challenge and it's not really a surprise that they're starting to let the wider world know. Mm -hmm. Vivian, I'm probably going to show my age now <laughs> by saying I remember back in the day, I think it was 1983, uh, when Prince changed his name uh, to a symbol. Uh, and this was in rebellion of his record label, which just would not let him go and did not give him the artistic freedom that he wanted. I remember him coming out in a concert with the word slave written on his cheek as well. So this relationship between artists wanting to do what they want to do and the record label then dictating how they should be doing it that that's not new that's been going on for quite some time you would think that they would have sorted it out by now mm. yeah and i think that now as i said they just have so much more of a voice and a platform and they can reach millions of people go viral and suddenly everyone is aware of just how frustrated the artists are and it's something that as you say has been going on for decades and decades and decades the types of contracts that these artists can be locked into are exhaustive and exhausting you know they have to do so many things they have to tick so many boxes and a lot of them just see themselves as creators as artists they have a song they want to release it mm. and suddenly they also have to be viral TikTok stars they have to be their own marketers they have to manufacture these moments when really they just feel like I just to get my song out there. Yeah. It's one thing for someone like Adele or Ed Sheeran or Halsey to kind of push back. They've got the fan base that will listen to them and keep supporting them and listening to their music yeah. anyway. But for those people who don't have that built up fan base yeah. yet, they don't really have that same power. That so They're not empowered by social media. It's quite the opposite in a way. Exactly. Halsey can almost sort of strong arm this situation. You know, uh, they've sold over 165 million records, I think they said on the TikTok. So they're in a bit of a position where they know that their fans are going to follow them. They've got that base. So even if they became locked into a dispute or a legal battle with their record label, they would still be okay. Smaller artists, if they went rogue and had their say online and vented, their record label might just ditch them and suddenly they wouldn't have a platform, they wouldn't have a distribution mechanism for their songs. So I guess we need big artists like Adele or like Halsey to sort of explain the frustrating situation. You know, Ed Sheeran having a snack might seem like it's just funny and he's being a bit sour, but actually it helps artists showcase what they're going through and how they are just human. They're not robots. They're not a machine. And, you know, sometimes they do just want to have a snack, not fake a viral moment so that their music can get out there. Mm. So where do the fans sit on this debate? The same fans who would discover these artists on TikTok? Yeah, I guess it's a funny one because viral moments now people are quite skeptical of them you know are they real people are already mm -hmm. saying with Halsey well you got exactly what you wanted this has gone viral is this even real yeah. so even this really authentic moment about the frustrations of inauthentic TikTok moments mm -hmm. has yeah. become something that's that's questioned. So fans love having that connection with artists, seeing the real them, yeah. seeing them, you know, unmade up sitting on their couch or eating a snack in the case of Ed Sheeran. But I think at the same time, they also do want those, those viral moments. They do yeah. get to engage with artists in that way. And that's why so many musicians are massive on, on TikTok. Mm, so yeah. it can be a bit of a double-edged sword. Yeah.